In this video clip, we'll take a look at how to use a performance summary report, which will indicate what students are proficient with individual objectives and what students can need to continue working on those other learning objectives. So to start this process off, again, anytime you want to start a report, you go to your report menu, choose, in this case, we're going to go down here to performance summary, and we're going to look at the whole class. I'll choose that option and in my case I'm just going to keep all of these defaults at the top set to all and the focus is going to be by learning objectives. You can set a proficiency target um, for whatever percent you want. I'm going to leave mine set to 70 percent. That's the default and then you will want to make sure that you use this option here to show names of students who are proficient. It just gives you a very clear breakdown of what kids are ready to move on to the next learning objectives. So with those options set, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And very quickly, the report will show up. At the top here, you can see there are 31 students in my class. Um, we have a proficiency target of at 70%. And here's a learning objective. Lesson 5.1 was adding and subtracting fractions. I can see that I have 20 students that are proficient. Here's the class average. And then down here would be where all your student names that um, where they've achieved a 70% or better, all those students' names would be listed here. So very quickly, you can take a glance see, you know what, looks like uh, lesson 5.2 here, adding and subtracting mixed fractions. I don't have any students that are proficient, or I don't have any students that achieved 70% or better with that particular learning objective. So it's a very nice report. It gives you a breakdown of individual students, as well as a quick glance to see what learning objectives you may need to go back and reteach um, or provide some more um, direct instruction on. So a nice report for that. If you want to print it off, again, go up to print. Up will come your default printer and go ahead and send that to the printer. If you want to go back to your main menu and choose a different report, just click close. You can close out of this little summary screen here just by clicking cancel and you can go back to your report menu and choose from any one of the other reports. Uh, I would say one of the best things you can do is just go ahead and click through some of these. If you want to take a look at an item analysis summary, go ahead and click on it, choose the assignment or test that you want to analyze, click OK, and up will come the results and you can kind of see, you know what, is this something that, that I would like to, to use for my data analysis? And here you can see the questions over here, um, what the correct response was, and an individual breakdown, how many kid answered B, how many answered D, and so on down the list here. And you can also set thresholds, the little um, yellow uh, flag that you see here next to these individual questions, is just indicating that this question was answered incorrectly by more than 30% of the class. And you can set that level to 40% or 50%, whatever level you want, but the default is um, if more than 30% get it wrong, it'll flag that. So a quick visual to see how individual kids did. So again, we'll close this out, and just to encourage you to take a look at the many different reports. There are dozens of them that you can run, some of them individual, some of them by the entire class. Go down to this menu and feel free to, to check a few of them out. That's where you're going to really learn the most about how to run the reports.